It's nice and quiet, integrated limb dampening technology. You heard it here, folks. Matthews V3X Phase 4 from the Privilege Ball Hunter. I'm doing this test for me, but I'm gonna show y'all, I'm gonna bring y'all along with the video. So I was shooting this arrow, which is 260 spine, um, about 550 grains. I'll put the exact grains up on the screen. And then this one is 618 grains. Um, you can still see this one has some nasty deer guts on it from an axis deer that I killed that last little buck I shot. It went in through the shoulder um, and then exited out of the gut. So it tore up all the vitals and exited out of the nasty stuff. Um, but I wanted to, basically I'm going up in spine, which is a 200 spine, which means it's overall heavier um, because I want to shoot the iron wheel solids versus the venets that I was shooting with this. But the problem was when I went to the venets, or I'm sorry, when I went to the solids, which are 50 grains heavier, the spine, this 260 spine, believe it or not, was behaving uh, too weak. I couldn't shave any more down, like I couldn't shorten it anymore. So the only thing I could do was go to a 200 spine uh, arrow and here we are. I need to do this video because my point of impact is gonna change um, and just the way my bow performs is gonna change and I need to be very, very intimate with that. Um, it just gives me more confidence in the woods. So you guys get to come along with me. Okay, here's the lighter one. Two eighty eight. And the arrow that probably will bring all the comments saying, hey, you don't need to shoot an arrow that heavy, the six hundred and twenty grain one. Two seventy two. So six hundred and eighteen grains going two hundred and seventy two feet per second is pretty good in my opinion. All right, so the next step, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move out to 20 yards. I'm gonna shoot the one that I've been shooting, see where the impact is. And then I'm gonna shoot the heavier one and see where that impacts and I'm gonna measure the distance. Um, see how much um, I'll have to compensate, if any. From 288 to 272, um, shot it a other couple times and it went to 285. So we'll just split the difference and say about like 286, 287. Down to 272, so you're looking at about 15 feet per second, I'm um, lost in speed. Um, so I don't know if that's gonna make your skin crawl or not. I don't necessarily care. What I wanna see now, what does that mean on target? So if I'm, where would I have to, where, how far off am I gonna have to uh, adjust? All right, 20 yards. Y'all forgive me, I'm missing a fletch on this arrow. All right. Twenty. Well, that thing is so quiet. Look, this might as well be a. Hey, this may as well be a phase four. Look, I have two limb savers up here. I got two limb savers down here. This is my version of a Matthews phase four right here. It's nice and quiet, integrated limb dampening technology. You heard it here, folks. Matthews V3X phase four from the Privilege Ball Hunter. All right. Uh, so here's the lighter one, here's the heavier one. All right, so you're looking at seven eighths of an inch difference. Um, and you went, and I jumped about 70 grains of weight. So at 20 yards, where most of my deer die, or less, there's only a seven eighths inch um, point of impact shift, right? So now we're gonna take it back to 30 yards and see what the point of impact um, effects are right there. Okay, so I lost less than an inch and my point of impact at 20 yards. But what I gained was a quieter arrow because there's no wind whistling through the vents of that um, iron wheel wide vent. 
So now that's quiet. So maybe that's less of a reaction from the deer. I gained more uh, bone breaking ability. I gained more front of center. Um, so right now it looks like the benefits are outweighing the downfalls of that seven eighths of an inch. Next, we're gonna move to 30 and see what happens. All right, 30 yards. First one. All right, let's go check them out. All right, so here we go. Point of impact, 30 yards was here. So we are one inch and five eighths. So it was an inch and five eighth difference at 30 yards. If most of my deer killed at 30 yards or at 20, 20 yards or less, the rest of them are definitely killed generally from that, uh, from that range there. And once again, like, look at Hawaii. Like, look at this view. This is the static range over here in Kapolei, bushwhackers, archery, and like, yeah, you can't beat it. You got mountains everywhere. It's almost like the, we almost eye level with clouds over there. Yeah, can't beat it. All right, here we go, 40 yards. Let's go see. All right, so here we go. Uh, this is 40 yards. I pulled it a little left, but the vertical looks pretty good. Uh, you're looking at right at about two inches. I wonder Hey, if the audio is good, cause it's windy out here. So if the audio is good and you're not hearing a bunch of whooshing, like leave a thumbs up below in the comments cause this little puffy ball is actually working. <laughs> Nervous laugh, cause I don't know how this audio is gonna turn out. <laughs> 50 yards. If I haven't been saying it in a video, you guys should understand. I'm going light first, then heavy. All right, so here we go. Five and a half inches at 50. So next, we're about to take the biggest risk we've ever taken on this channel. I'm gonna take this heavy arrow, this heavy arrow, which I have not shot before at a hundred yards because I literally, this is the only one of them that I have built. I'm still working on the build. So I haven't even moved my pins. I'm gonna figure out where I need to be at to hit at a hundred yards. And then I'm gonna move my chronograph out there and see what speed I'm getting at a hundred yards. So we'll be back. All right, hundred yards, 620 grain arrow shooting over a chronograph, what could go wrong? In the wind, all right. Y'all know out here in, uh, in Hawaii they call like what we would say is an OG where I'm from. They call them uncles here, uncles and aunties. I need Uncle Iron Wheel Bill to come out. I please, please drop the 10 grain titanium compact collars. Please, please. <laughs> All right, keep it rolling just in case it's right over. I'm not sure why she's running right now just unusable video right now, just shaky. 
Hawaii tourist style beach video right now. <laughs> okay, so here we go, right? So this was a perfect example, right? 253 feet per second. So we're shooting at 100 yards. We got 253 feet per second. That arrow passed right over the chronograph because look, it's even lower than the chronograph because it passed over and dropped in right here, right? So what I need to see is, basically what I need to see is what my speed was at 100 yards um, with my ladder arrow. Because what I do want to see is how like, we always talk about mass and how it's more efficient and how over time it will carry its weight. It will, it will maintain its speed over distance because that extra mass is allowing that arrow not to, the speed to erode over time. Um, I'm interested to look back at my old video and see where we're at. Hey, if you ain't subscribed by now, what are you doing? Please subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notification. If you know not how to spell it by now, it's P-R-I-V-I-L-E-G-E-D. We know y'all know how to spell bow hunter. We love y'all. Peace.